Hello there, Dillian. I see you've got yourself a new Amazon Kindle Fire. Bobson. Dillian. My name is Dick. Calm down, Dillian. Now look, I see you're having a little trouble getting your ebooks ready. But you know what? I've helped you with the iPad, I've helped you with the Nook, and I can sure help you with this new Amazon Kindle Fire. That's even more complicated than the Nook. Don't worry about it. Let's go! Now, before we start checking out ebooks, there's a few things you have to know about your library card first. First, on the back of your library card, under your barcode, is your library ID number. And secondly, you need to know that your library PIN number is WILD, lowercase w-y-l-d, as seen on the screen right now. Now, there's one other thing you need to do before you can download ebooks for your Kindle and that is to create an Adobe ID. To do this, you go to www.adobe.com. Once you're there, you click the Sign In button. The Sign In button will take you to a screen which will allow you to click the Create an Adobe Account button. After that, you're only a few simple steps away from having your own Adobe ID. Good job! Now, let's turn on our Kindle, shall we? Now, before we go downloading anything, we need to go to Settings. So you want to hit the little gear icon, go More. Then you want to hit the Device button. Then you want to go down and you want to turn on the Allow Installation of Applications button. Now you want to open up your internet browser. Now you're going to want to go to the website m.getjar.com. Now once you get there, you want to type in the search box get jar and search for that. Once you find get jar apps, you want to download it to your Kindle Fire. Now you want to hit the install button and install the app. Once you've installed it, you want to enter the app and search for Freeding. Once you've found the app, you want to download it. After downloading it, go ahead and install it. Now that it's downloaded and installed, open the app. Click on the More Options button. Then you want to hit the Account button. Now when you're here, you want to type in your Adobe Digital ID and password. After you've signed in and activated your product, you want to hit the More Options button again. Once you've hit More Options, you want to hit the Store button. Look at all of these amazing books. But remember, you have to log in first. Hit the Log In button. Once you're there, hit the Zip Code text box and type in your zip code. Then hit Find Libraries. Then look down below and choose Wyoming State Library as your library. Now that you're logged in, you can browse all of the fine books that this virtual library has to offer. Once you've found the book that you want to check out, go ahead and tap it. Once you get there, you hit the Download eBook button. It'll download the book and then you can start reading. Once it's downloaded, merely tap that icon and it will allow you to read your book. Whoa-hoo! Someone call the doctor because this guy's got cowboy fever. <laughs> Enjoy your readings, folks. Wasn't that easy, Dillian? Yeah, now I can read my ebooks anywhere.
Radio is brought to you by the Albany County Public Library.